Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a week ahead for Pisces. So this is going to be for the week of May 25th through the 31st. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. If you hear something outside, there's a dog way off yonder that is whining. So you might hear him whining. Ho, 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 ho. So if you do hear that, then that's what's going on. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started. Um, what do we have for Pisces? It's funny, the stuff that comes out of my mouth during a reading. <laughs> What do we have for the week ahead? Six of Wands reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. Whoa. So that is lack of commitment. Lack of commitment. Battling. Battling with that Six of Wands reversed. Now, uh... Six of Wands reverse is losing or a setback in that Page of Pentacles is a setback as well. Unwelcome news of some sort. What the hell is going on? Beginning of the week. What the hell? Ooh, why? Why, 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 why is this happening? So that could be happening today because, you know, these the timing is, something is going on because that's a why, 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 why. Um, now, the star card reverse is where fear takes over, perhaps, or there's no faith or, you know, it's interesting because this can be arrogance and this can be arrogance. So I'm not sure if we have somebody here that has some sort of arrogance. Why is this happening? This is a test of faith. So something going on. In regards to a test of faith, um, your faith may be tested at the beginning of the week. Faith and commitment, faith in something. Ooh, two of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, very positive. So that's positive change, heading in the right direction. But this is some sort of financial loss or uh, lacking balance. And feeling overwhelmed. So you may, from like Monday into Tuesday, or this could be even, like I said, the timing is fluid. You may be feeling overwhelmed, like you got too much on your plate or something crazy is happening. This is like chaos and something in wrong time, perhaps. I'm not sure what is going on. There's, there's some sort of turbulence or conflict or something that is happening at the beginning of the week. But this is positive change. So this is being at the right place at the right time. This is good luck. The Wheel of Fortune. So we got something good that is happening. Um, seeing clearly. This is seeing clearly about a situation. No more confusion. Seeing it absolutely clear. But this is a financial mess. And this could be a shame. Somebody, I'm not sure what is going on. There could be a financial loss here feeling disgraced with this situation. Somebody with page, so page of pentacles reversed, the two of pentacles reversed. Somebody may be feeling disgraced over their financial status or their financial loss or whatever. Or this is why is this happening? There's no growth, but there's a reason because this is a card of reason. There's something better perhaps seeing clearly that it's time for something new because the wheel of fortune is one chapter is ending and a new one is beginning. Six, you're going to receive something, something more valuable. Okay, you know, something uh, more abundant with this is getting something, receiving something better, the Six of Pentacles, something that you deserve. It's So you're going to get some, this is a fortunate, okay, so this is very fortunate. So yeah, you may be like, why is this, at the beginning of the week, maybe you're moping, okay, you could be moping for all I know, I don't know. There's, there's a, some avenue that isn't, or some path with the page of, page of pentacles reverse or some enterprise could be a business whatever that isn't you know it's not going in the right direction it could be a dead end okay i have to be honest with you it could be a dead end so this is some sort of prospect that isn't manifesting it's not okay it just isn't going anywhere unfortunately 
but it absolutely, you may not see it. I mean, it's unfortunate. Yes, I see that it's unfortunate, okay? This is like, why is this happening? Why isn't this growing? Why aren't things getting better? Why, 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 why? I can't take this anymore. Ten of, or the Wheel of Fortune, this is, a, this is very fortunate. It's a fortunate accident, per se, okay? So that's what it is. It's a fortunate accident. This is going to give you an opportunity to choose something else where you will get more money. Okay, more money, more of a payout. You're gonna get some sort of payout. Okay, so something, there's a change of events, okay, which is going to help you in the financial arena. So midweek. Oh, these are both death cards. They really are. So, but this is, you know, I'm not sure if something is coming back from the dead. Maybe you thought it was dead. You thought it was never going to come back. Maybe you're moping at the beginning of the week. Now it comes back. This is a change. This is something that gives you uh, life again, you know, lifts you up. So I think by the end of the week, you're going to start to feel, you're going to be coming out of this slumber, right? You're going to start to feel better. You're going to start to feel like, you know, you're coming back. Something is going to happen. Something's going to happen towards the end of the week, which is going to be, it's going to be positive. Okay, from the middle to the end of the week, there's going to be a positive change where there's, it's like there's a revival. Things have been very stagnant. They've been uh, near dead. Like, and you probably thought, you know, maybe this is moping and saying, why this isn't getting any better? I can't believe this is happening, whatever. You may feeling be feeling very, very overwhelmed, but then all of a sudden there's some ch sort of change, okay? Where you get, maybe you're going to get money from somebody or maybe it's a government. I don't know if it is the government or something. You're going to be receiving, see that's money, receiving money or receiving an opportunity that makes you more money. Okay, something or, or gives you some sort of abundance. Okay, this is headed in the right direction after being in a poor, poor, pitiful me situation. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. So things are about to get better. You may have felt like you were dead in the water or, you know, you were, this was, you know, going it wherever, not in a good place, but I think it's about to get better. So... King of Cups. That's great. So that you're gonna be you're gonna be able to master your emotions by the end of the week. You're gonna start to feel like yourself again. You you are. So give you just just breathe. Just breathe. Whatever is happening, you may be feeling very you may be feeling uh like you're falling or something, you know, you're falling, you know, or you've fallen or you're never gonna get back up or something like that. Or this is a complete loss, you know, you may be feeling this is a loss. It's a loss. It's the beginning of the week. You're probably, like, why is this happening? I can't believe this. There's no success here. I, I'm going nowhere. Blah, 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 blah. And by the end of the week, things change and you start to see more clearly because you're going to be given something that helps you to come out of this near-death situation, whatever it is. Okay? And it's going to put you back to where you are feeling more... Uh, under control of your emotions, you're able, able to think a lot more clearly, um, you're able to just relax by the looks of things. Um, now this is, a, this is, the King of Cups is somebody who is very loving and um, gentle. Temperance, in the flow, at peace. You know, so you're going to, you are going to start feeling a lot more harmonious by the end of the week. Okay. This is, this is being in the flow. This is uh, feeling good. This is temperance comes after death, right? This is where this is, you realize that all this happened for a purpose or, you know, you're changing, you're evolving. You need to be grounded. You're, you're, you're going to be a lot more balanced by the end of the week that you were, than you were in the beginning. In the beginning, I can see discontent. The beginning of the week, I can see, oh my God, this is dis de desperate, desperate. You know, a desperate despair. Uh, this uh, afraid, fearful. Your faith is being tested at the beginning of the week. Your faith in the higher power. Your faith in God. You know, whatever. But things change midweek. By the end of the week, you're in the flow. Okay, I feel like you're on the higher path. You're allowing, you're allowing whatever has happened to happen. And because you're allowing, things are becoming more easy. You're not, you're not fighting the path. 
Anyhow, I think that you're going to start feeling a heck of a lot better by the end of the week. You're going to be given something that you are very much in harmony with. And this is after the death, okay? It's after the ending or the near-death experience where this is an opportunity to heal. It's an opportunity to reconnect or something like that. Um, this is a reason. You realize that that didn't work out, whatever it was, for a reason. This is a card of reason. So you, and this is realizing that... You know, whatever didn't work out over here didn't work out for a reason. So you're going to be realizing that by the end of the week and accepting that. Um, it's coming out of a slumber. It's waking up and feeling alive again. You're going to start to feel more alive again where you actually want to get up and go do things and uh, let your guard down maybe perhaps. Um, Nine of Wands reversed. Now, the Nine of Wands reversed is burned out, you know. Um, you've been through a lot of situations that where you've had to fight, right? Where you've probably had to fight for your life, right? Fight, and here we have life, okay? So you've had to fight for your life over and over and over and over again. But this is how it made you into the person that you are, really. It has. So I feel like this you're, you're moving into a situation where you, you, you don't have to fight. It's going to be a lot easier. It is. It is. No fight. Five, no more fighting. Competition is out over. The game is over. No fighting. Fighting? No fighting. Like I just said, I don't even need the card. So this is a turning point. Where, you know, it's peace. Finding peace. It's the end of the battle. It's the end of the conflict. It's finding a solution. Working with people. That is the sword of power. It's the sword of truth. By the end of the week, the power is going to be in your hands. And you are going to be receiving of some sort of... Um, clarity, because this is clarity and this is clarity. This is a new idea, taking a new approach, accepting the truth. This is accepting the truth, having the power to do whatever you want. Um, this is an awakening as well. So we also have communication. This is communicating facts and truth. This is a new opportunity. It is. A new opportunity to heal and find balance. So by the end of the week, you're going to be right in the flow. You're going to have all the power in your hands. You're going to be seeing clearly that whatever happened, happened for a reason. You're now in a situation where you don't have to fight. There's no fighting. There's no conflict. That's a wake-up call of some sort, an awakening, going through some sort of awakening. Working hard, putting in effort, putting in effort to make something grow. You're going to be, I think you are going to be putting in effort to prove yourself. Some of you uh, are going to be taking a new approach. That's a new approach. Coming up with a new idea that is going to make you money. You may be starting a new endeavor with somebody. Going to make you money. You're going to be making money with or doing something, creating something new that's going to make you money by the end of the week. Judgment. There, even this, you know, judgment is a card of absolution and acceptance. And remember, I see acceptance because you accept this change and this is change. It's like... They give you a new opportunity to live more free, to live more harmonious. So anyway, by the end of the week, I mean, this is we have we have wake up call twice. Somebody is is getting going through some sort of awakening as well, and truth coming out, truth, truth. These are both cards of truth. So there's some sort of truth that is coming out. This is also karma. This is also something from the past, a past life perhaps, or a reconciliation with somebody you've known before. Okay, this is another chance or taking a chance. A chance to live again. 
They're giving you a chance. They're giving you another chance. Someone from the other side. This is someone from the other side. Are you ready to be judged? This is a life-changing decision that is being made. So you're being, somebody is making a decision based on the truth, based on the facts as well. This is the end of things as well, the judgment. So something is coming to the end and this is renewal. This is a new, new life. It is. After judgment, what is it? It's, it's, it's a resurrection. It's a new life. So this is a, a chance to start a new life. So by the end of the week, you're going to be um, starting something new. It is. You're going to be starting something new. This is the end. It's the end of fighting. It's the end of conflict. It's the end of confusion. It is. I think you're going to know exactly where you're going. You're going to see things absolutely clearly. Somebody's going to be putting in effort too. This is putting in a lot of effort. This, this is a reconciliation or working with somebody from the past. And this is a past life connection. Okay? It is. The judgment card is a past life connection. Or this could be somebody that has passed away that is guiding you. They're giving you another chance. You're being given a chance. If, but this is the learn lessons have been learned for you. Seriously. Okay, there you are. And this is lessons because this comes after death. You've learned some sort of lesson. Lesson has been learned. Do better next time. Make sure you put in effort and don't give up. So anyway, you're getting a chance. You're, you're, you are going to be given something that you deserve. This is getting something that you deserve. This is a chance to be loved. I mean, this is love, right? The King of Cups is love. But you have to express love. This is an expression as well. So expressing love, expressing feelings. So this is definitely a new opportunity to let your guard down. Yes, you've had to fight your whole life, but it's time to stop fighting. And this is about healing. Coming together with somebody that you can you know, mingle with very, very well. This is an exchange. Temperance is a card of exchange. Exchanging one for something. What is it? Silver for gold or silver, lead for something? I don't know. I'm sure some, some smart ass will put it down in the comments because, you know, they got to teach me something. Anyhow, I don't care. This is an exchange for one, so one for something better. You have an opportunity to get something better. They're giving you something better. It's But it's after you let go of whatever this desperate situation is, which you were like, why did that happen? Why did this end? Blah, 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 blah. There's a reason, and it's right here. So get prepared to receive something that you deserve for all your hard work. Good luck.